Hey Joe. Make something quick, simple, easy. You do not have to snap peas, peel potatoes to make good food. So these are the pork chops. Um, what did I, I just washed them. And so they're in the sheet pan right now. I'm getting them. Get them. All right, so these ratchet onions, um, I sliced like this. I'm gonna put them in the pan, in the pan like so, and um, come to here and you get ready to flip these things. So we're gonna take a few, like a fruit, take a few slices out of here. All right, I'm just gonna slice the bacon. Little chunks. Uh, one more. I'm gonna put this in the pan. I can wash my hands so I'm gonna put this in the pan. Now remember, these are 
not cooked all the way, so don't start eating. Um, I'm gonna put these in the oven for about probably 45 minutes and I'm gonna cover it, or maybe I'll do it for 30 minutes and cut, uncover it and cook it the rest of the way. Yeah. We're gonna put like a little water in there. I'm making gravy too, so it's gonna help with that. So I put the poke in the oven, 350, covered, let it go for a little bit. I'm still working on this big one. Be Ooh, I done burnt the damn thing. They crunchy now. So see, I done definitely crisped up this bacon. Mmm, so good though. Took off a lot of grease. I did leave a little bit in the pan. All right, so I'm getting ready to make some Jiffy. I am very compliant with Jiffy. I don't add nothing extra. I just do what they tell me. When did they start getting these plastic bags? They used to be in their little wax paper. This must be cheaper. Or is it because of COVID or something? I don't know. And I just realized that I don't have any cow's milk. I only have almond milk. So, um, I'll just have to make it do what do with that. Hopefully I don't alter it, really. Perfect consistency, but when posing for the grand goes wrong. So I put a tad, and I mean a tad bit of sugar on there. This is some complete seasoning. See that complete sauce-on? Oh my God, I don't have to open it up the other way. There we go. You don't want to over-season that, because this is going to put down by like half. It's gonna look like it's no kabajam even up in there. That was onion powder, put a little bit of this garlic powder, not too much. So 
some pepper. Jesus. Pepper and some seasoned salt. Just a little overdo it. And some Spanish smoked paprika. A little bit of this goes long way. Y'all say y'all don't know what paprika tastes like. You taste it here. All right. Here the pork chops cooking. I just uncovered. So um, I'm going to leave it uncovered and let it cook the rest of the way. It's been about 30 minutes already. It's burling. This is the salt, pepper, water with a little bit of butter in there for the instant potatoes. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right. Y'all know the instant ones. I had a hoe in. Um, I don't measure, I just pour until it gets, you know, thick. You don't want soup. Add your own flavors up in there. You can do what you want. Load it. Bacon, cheese. This is a good, this is a good consistency. This is a perfect consistency. So see, this is a perfect consistency. Get all the lumps and bumps, dry pieces out. I'm gonna put some more butter in here. You can see the pepper, you can see the butter. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter. Some chase, I'm gonna taste it. I know it's gonna be fat, fat. Okay. Cream cheese, some more butter. I'm just gonna cover it so it'll melt faster. Then I'm gonna put some um, furrow over this and um, let it finish melting. So you see I got a lot left. Trying to stunt for the grizzy and got Lizzie. So I have this aluminum pan. You recycle your aluminums and some canola spray. So and this is my first time using this brand. I went to all these today. Y'all know I went to all these and only spent $21. Crazy. I am getting what I what I bought, I would have to spend at least 40 at public or public. Like crazy. Yeah. I don't know what all this is. Um This is it, and I'm gonna put this in the oven. Still got some dry, but um, let's see, I just mix that a little bit. Um, 25 minutes probably on 350, something like that. So I'm making some gravy. This is with the dripping. Mm -hmm. Okay, just they're trying to cook the flour down from the darker color. Yeah, shit, 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 shit
Tickets gotten. I might, I can probably put a little bit more water in it too. I'm gonna taste it first and see. <laughs> Need a little bit more salt. On Fifth Ave shopping sprees. That's a little bit. Taste it again. Let's off the spoon. Really like what you think to me. I'm so into you. I really like. All right, so stir up. I put a little bit more salt in there, not a lot, just a sprinkle. And let's taste it. It should be perfect this time. Mhm. Mm Cause I know that instant potatoes. Ten minutes, maybe fifteen. Since I didn't have no cow's milk, I couldn't even um, put milk in that, but I usually do. Gravy's done, just waiting on the Belgian car to finish. Really like what you, and because the cornbread, cornbread is almost done. And so is the poke chops. Corn bread. I'm gonna slice it into um you know, the triangle pieces. It's a little crumbly, probably because, you know, I probably needed that extra fat from that milk. It's all good, it's all to the G. I'm gonna put some country crock on here. Best cornbread butter. Margarine, whatever y'all want to call it, spread. Love you all the way down, and right where you like it. I just put it on here like frosting. Make sure every piece is buttered, well buttered. Me. Cabbage, you see, it's put down. Look at that. You see the onions and peppers in there. And look at them. Oh, come on. Oh. I do need some more salt. I need to cook down just a little bit more. 